welcome back everybody so I have made a few changes to the mechs uh, in order to pull off some of the missions that we're going to do coming up so let's have a quick look at the mech bay before we start our mission today we are going to continue our missions of rampant destruction so Talos what I did um, is I mean it's not the best switch but I needed to do this so I had to pull out one of the double we had what we had one extra double heat sink so I pulled that out and just put a medium laser in in its place now I know it's adding heat but this is really for after the rockets are gone and you know we've got an extra laser if we need to apply some a uh, little bit of damage here or there that's all it's for but I didn't have anything else to replace it with at this point so that's what I did um, the Jenner I made a little bit of a change to. I wasn't really happy with the way the incendiary ammo was working. And I was hoping to get the LRM-10 in here. But I figured I'd try something different. Now we put SRM, the Clan SRM-4, which is one ton, and a regular SRM-4, which is two tons. So rather than having an SRM-6 for three tons, we've got an SRM-8 for three tons. And I put a ton of dead fire ammo in. SRM dead fire. So yes, it needs to be really close to be able to use this. But this guy's been having a, a difficulty of um, having a punch at close range so either we can overheat our opponents uh, and maybe use one SRM or we can get in close and just use the SRMs here because this is like 8 and then 12 I think right yeah so 20 heat right here using both SRMs and maybe a couple of flamers to deal a significant amount of damage at close range so that's what we did with this guy I had to pull the jump jets off in order to do that but I think it was worthwhile put an SLDF cockpit in here and we upgraded the Guardian ECM to the Clan Guardian ECM which gave us another half a ton which is great so we were able to do a little bit with this guy now he's still under armored um, but it it's been able to avoid damage so it's surprisingly enough it's been able to avoid damage I'm not that worried about it if we can get a core here like we've got a 180 if we can get like a maybe like a 225 or a 230 or something where we can drop the weight of the core a little bit more I'll add some more armor but until that point we're just going to leave it as it is so that's the gender now the locust is you know I'm really liking the locust layout it's a it's really expensive this mech gets trash it's kind of a, it's kind of a waste of stuff but right now I think it's actually pretty kind of kind of cool for a 20 ton mech so we pulled out the jump jets that we had at the exception of one pull out the flamer put another medium X pulse in like I said we were going to do so this is 56 heat with these two double heat sink kit went in with the one double heatsink that we had off the Talos and the three more that we picked up yesterday. That's four double heatsinks which we were able to put in this guy to make this thing work. Uh, the heat efficiency is really good. So we'll be able to fire both medium X pulses all the time. Put a clan cockpit in here. Um, also to give us a bonus to gunnery to make those uh, hit a little better. Because uh, they are in the CT, it's not so bad. Now I was hoping, um, we've got a... Uh, an arrow tag I was hoping to put that somewhere now if I can find a one ton weapon that I can drop in here to replace this with I'll probably put the tag arrow in the arm um, but until that point I mean we're gonna run with two X pulses and see how that goes today I think it'll do really well now this thing's got its armor pretty much maxed out there's only a few points left over but not much all right so let's go to the command center here and we we're gonna do our turn the tables to skull um, Going against Comstar, destroy base in the jungle. Let's negotiate this. I think I know which base this is. 417, we're going to go full salvage. Let's hope we pick up a Risk Irby here. Um, but let's just do this. I think we'll probably be okay here. Yeah, I know. Command interface initiated. Okay, here we go. Uh, which one is this? Oh, this map. We haven't been on this one in quite a while. So this map's got pretty well positioned turrets as well. Looks like we got a lance of guys with us here. Alright, what are we looking at here? Svantovit, Arctic Cheetah, Griffin, another Griffin, Pegasus with Paravellar M10s. Paravellar M10s. Pair of LRM5s. I'm just these guys are probably going to be shooting at range anyways. That's why I want to check them here. This guy's the same. Okay. Alright, so we've got a turret up here. We've got one here. One is up in here. And the last one. I'm trying to remember where the last one is. One, two, three. Is that there? Four? 
I think so. Yeah, one right here. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's back here. That's in a bad position. Okay, so it's really just this turret and this turret to start. We really have to worry about. This one's an indirect fire turret. We'll have to kill this one as well, but... All right, we cannot push as much as I'd like to. Where are you? Oh, you're at the back, dude. I'm gonna put you on reserve for now. For the right opportunity. I hear you. Well, that is amazing. Yep. Let's get you out of the way first. Okay. Now you can move. Get a bit of speed up and get in here. Want to get those SRMs into use early if we can. What can I do for you? Now we don't, we've got a minus 25% range with those SRMs, so we don't have really have the best range. Actually, let's not get into a group up problem like we had last time. We can avoid it. And this is a pretty hard hitting locust. Two weapons that do 45 damage each that are bonus to hit. Yeah, I see him. Forty-five ton of Zula, four miss, three missiles, four missiles. I wonder what that is. Tag. Ballistic. Okay. Full strength. Full strength. Ooh, what are you? Looks like a thunderbolt, but I don't think it is. It is a thunderbolt. Shit, full strength too. Soften this guy, or doesn't really matter which one, huh? 448 armor. So he's got rocket packs, medium rifle, chaff countermeasures, so he can shoot my uh, missiles down. Let's go after this guy. Engaging target. Nothing. Okay. What was that? Turret probably? Yeah, back turret. Let's hope those two griffins move up. Ah, fuck you. It's this turret. Do they think they can hurt me? Thunderbolt emplacement. Okay. What else we got over here? Clint? Okay. A wrecker. What the fuck is a wrecker? Pepper box rifles. Okay. Pirate Clint. Yeah. Don't know what that turret is. We know what it is now? We don't. Let's go in here. Okay, I'm on it. Good damage to that turret. I'm under heavy fire here. Hopefully we can tie up that thunderbolt. I think we're gonna have to use the barrage. On you, Commander. Our other barrage in that turret. Um Get some speed going, get over here. Five chevrons, beautiful. Firing at the turret. Oh yeah, man, good shooting. Looks like a laser turret. Let's 
Let's not get to a point where that turret can see us. Let's get into here. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, we're overheating, but definitely worth having the dead fire ammo on this. Let's fire. Target. Oof, only one hit, eh? Oh, the AMS. Damn. I think we saved the barrage. Um, three forty-five, huh? Three energy and a ballistic. Let's use one rocket pack on it. Gone. Yep. Beautiful. Long range missiles depleted. Okay. Second pack may have to go against that Thunderbolt turret, but we'll see how that Thunderbolt turret, what it's going to be aiming at. We're kind of out of position for that. I may want to use my barrage on this uh, Azula over here. We'll see. The Griffin's not moving in, unfortunately. Okay, we should be in good positions, I think. Who was that? Thunderbolt or a turret? Thunderbolt. I mean, we could wait and deal with the mechs first, but that Thunderbolt turret is going to do a lot of damage to us if we wait. I think we need to move the Talos up there. Both the Talos and the uh, Trebuchet. So, hopefully the Talos goes first. Unlikely. Phase 8. Okay, he's not shooting at us. That's good. Hitting his own buildings. Dual mortar. Okay. Standard command bunker. Probably has a bunch of AMS. Yeah, man, the dead fired ammo. 15 damage? You kidding me? Against against the bunkers? It's crazy. I'm ready. Uh let's reserve. Yeah, I want to see what our options are. We need to, I think we need to get um, our fares on an arc light going first. Then we'll worry about everybody else. So you need to reserve as well. Where are you going, man? Damn it, we gotta get right in there, eh? Be in the fucking spores too. I mean we could decide to not go after the mortars this turn. Or the Thunderbolts, I mean. Okay. Um, we just don't have the uh, speed. Of the, I want hoping to get into here, but don't have the speed. Um, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, what's the chance to hit? That's the question. Pretty darn low. So let's switch these out, put the barrage up, let's attack the ground. Shoot, really? Oh, okay. Here we go. Engaging target. 
Stripped all his armor off. Beautiful. This guy took some damage too, which is nice. How much damage did he take? Don't know. Alright, we got our um, Hydra ammo. Hopefully we can finish that Thunderbolt turret up this turn. So the actual Thunderbolt mech is the other guy we gotta worry about. Let's back your ass up into here for a second. Get a little bit of height. Go after this turret. Hopefully the Hydra's enough to crit it and kill it. Nope. Damn. Got past the armor. Yeah, you did. Well, we still got our LRM vehicles. Oh, the Azula's moving up. Shit. Oh, he's going after the Griffin. Um... kind of maneuver do we want to take here? <sighs> Let's just do this. Um, Get in a strike position. I'm going to brace here. Get a bit of heat back. Until this turret's weakened some more. Can't really push it. Okay. What can I do for you? Nah. Forty-four. Fifty-seven. Is he going to go before the Thunderbolt next turn, though? The turret can see him there, though. I'm trying to get to a position where we don't have to worry about that Clint. I mean, he can still come around and get me anyway, but... Let's move over here. Take a shot at this guy. Okay, one hit. I'll take it. I'll take it. Gonna have to use our... Uh, Our incendiaries on that guy. Okay. Mortars are hitting their own stuff back there. Damage is light. Damn it. 15 heat isn't very much for me, though. Alright. Attack this guy again. Oh, yeah. Looks like two leg hits to me. Let's get up into here. Okay, arc light. I really want you on this thunderbolt, but I can't. I'm here. Not with that vehicle there. It's all indirect, eh? Unless we push it. So we're okay then. Let's move back here. Confirmed. And let's drop some stuff on the turret again. 
Let's hope for some crits and some kills here. No. Oh, yep. There it goes. Beautiful. What do you think, buddy? That turret gone. Twenty eight, huh? Let's work on the instability of this uh, Thunderbolt. He's pretty hot too, so let's just keep him toasty. Fire everything. Only six heat, huh? Really? Really? Couldn't have done that earlier, huh? Could have helped a little while ago, buddy. Could have helped a little while ago. Okay, we're going to move to the side of this Thunderbolt now. I think... If I'm not mistaken, yeah, we got a good solid hit in this guy's leg. We got fifth. It's got what 76 points left in his leg. Uh, we could take his torso. I think we're just going to shoot at him though. See if we can wreck that side. He's got the large laser and the LRM on that side. So we'll move our affairs on. We'll shoot that guy. I think we can probably use safely use the rocket pack up on the Thunderbolt. Not have to worry. Pepper box machine moving up. Good thing he ain't shooting at me. There's not a lot of damage, but still. Sounds deadly. This Clint is in a really bad position. It's got acid fluid gun though. Oh, he goes before me. Warning. Armor low. LRM 15 took a crit. Svantovit. Hit the mortar turret. Hit that mortar turret. Or do three points of damage to the Clint. That works too. Okay, you bastard. Attack first, move later. Let's give this guy the what for. How's that for a fuck you? You got that right. Come on. There we go. Let's move over here, get some stability. We're really hot now, but we don't have any rocket packs to worry about, so... That Talos is a shredder with those rocket packs. Oh, we maybe don't kill that mortar turret. Just wait back here. You can probably destroy the buildings for us. I think if we pull this Clint down, we can use a barrage and two vehicles up to the right. Barrage on the uh, the base. Soften the two turrets up in the process. Finish everything up. I think that's the plan. I think that is the plan. Stan, hammer this guy, please. Yeah, I'm liking the. I think I'm liking the, putting those dead fire back on here. I'm here. We had an LRM with dead fire before, but I'm liking the S the SRM eight with dead fire. They're pretty hard hitting. Waiting on you, Commander. No point in exposing ourselves to the base. God, good shooting, man. 
For a locust, man. 90 damage? Kidding me? Ooh. We got, what, one more turn for the barrage to be back? Position confirmed. Get into here. Doing this, switching these over to SRMs. We want to go with Inferno? No, let's just try and shred them. Firing. Roger. There you go. All right, now it's just the two vehicles up to the right. Would be interesting to see if we could do this without the uh, support lance. It would definitely have been a m way more tricky mission. Those guys on the right not shooting, not shooting at the uh, our allies, but shooting at us. It would be a different story. I think we would have had to take this hill first. This is nice because it shields you from their turrets, but we would have had to take this hill and knock these two vehicles out, I think. Okay, here he comes. Ooh, they got him in the head. Oh, we can get a target on this guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the fact that I put the medium laser back on here. Now I know we're overheating and stuff, but... Turn that off for now. Let's just fire some missiles at this guy. Engaging target. Ooh, four hits. Beautiful. That drops our heat significantly. I ain't having to turn our big guns off, but... We're not in any pressure right now, so... Okay. What are we doing here, guys? Pepper box vehicles over there, but I think we're okay moving in here. I think we're okay. Let's go this route, and here it comes. What can I do for you? Stay out of the way of the uh, other turret, and firing. Okay, we hit with at least one. I don't know how many we hit with. Okay, we got some sensor locks for us. Now, uh, arc light. Can we get a direct line of sight on the one, but not the other turret? Oh. Do I want that vehicle? We got the barrage up, man. Can't go through those though. If we go through here, we're going to be taking. It's harder for them to hit us, but we take extra damage when we get hit. Let's save the barrage. Let's move over here. What are we in range with with this? Everything. Beautiful. So let's switch this up. Got lots of hydra left. Uh, it's going to be a miss. Let's just do this. Maybe I should have used the barrage in that guy. But I want to see if we can double barrage this base and get rid of everything at once. We might be able to cream both turrets plus the base all in one shot here. So our fire is on, most likely we'll shoot at the vehicle. Next turn we'll move both arc light and our fire is on over the hill, target the base, 
Oof. Pepper box hell, man. That's what you get for just standing there, dude. Don't just stand there. Guy put his foot in your ass. Okay, looks like we might not be able to target this vehicle now. In which case, I think I'll crest the hill to give that uh, those two turrets something else to shoot at, rather than my light boys down here. The mortar most likely will go after these two because they're clumped. But if we can give them our fares on here. Then maybe they'll shoot at him. Alright, let's go after this turret. And fire. Oh, good damage. ECCM is gone. What the hell did he just use? Yeah, I can see that. At least he wrecked his own turret. It looked like it hit hard, but it doesn't look like we took a lot of damage. It took a lot of heat damage, but the physical damage is negligible. Get back here. You're a little close for that turret. I'm here. You know what we're doing, girl. On my way. You know what we're doing. Oh, come on. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. Wait, wait. There it is. <laughs> Six of three destroyed. Oh, see ya. Where'd the chassis go? It's still flying. It totally looks like a like a, a cruiser tank, like a crusader from World War Two. I mean, a dead crusader, but a crusader nonetheless. All right, what are you doing? Okay, buddy. Let's, uh... Okay, we got to be able to get both these guys. Because I want to see who I'm shooting for here. That's good shot in that turret. I wonder if we should just hit it with everything. Not so good in the vehicle. It's just pepper boxes. So let's go after this guy. Gonna use the barrage. I want him gone. So let's wipe him out. Engaging target. See ya. Target destroyed. Just making sure that base is gone too. Yeah, this is an interesting map up here is the evac zone like I mean you could come back around this way if you had jump jets and attack the base from up here I guess Waiting for order. Just stay right there buddy Waiting for order. Good for now. He can't see you no point in pushing up those pepper boxes have been proven to be pretty damn deadly Attacking that Arctic Cheetah. Now they don't do a, a heck of a lot of damage. I think they're like 25 a pop or something like that. Or 20 a pop. But they got pretty good range. Where did he go? Ah, yeah, not a lot of damage. Still though. Don't want to get hit with him. Alright, move forward. Hopefully he'll appear somewhere. There we go. Drop some lerms on him. This guy's definitely going to be taking the uh, 
hide your ammo here. Roger. We got both of them up? We do. There we go. Double Hydra. Hail Hydra. I'm taking the shot. Oof. Yeah, that ammo does crazy damage. I don't know why that is. I'm interested to see the 191 what that what what the Hydra is going to do. I mean, it is very rare to get. It's not an easy easy find, but once you have it, you got in a mech that's protected like it's it's just devastating. But then again, the enemies can use it against you too, right? So it's important to have that AMS going. We haven't really quite we really haven't needed the AMS just yet. And there's been a couple of instances where I wish I had it. But it's not at a point where it's like, oh damn, I absolutely have to have the AMS running. But it will be very shortly. Like I said, two skull, two and a half skull. Like this is a two skull mission. We could have used it. Especially against the Thunderbolts, right? Now the Thunderbolt turrets are like getting into play here. Hammer him. That should do it, I think. Yeah, there we go. There it is, folks. All right, contract payment increased by 35% bonus. Excellent. Let's see if they steal anything from us again this turn or this time around. Nope, beautiful. I could take four Thunderbolt parts. But like I said, guys, I, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying playing at this lower level. The fact that we still have our original four mechs and we're doing really well with them. I want to keep going. Um, oh, we could take a 225 for the Jenner. It'll be slower. But we could get a couple of heat sinks in at that point. Because right now the, the core weighs, I think, 14 and a half tons or 15 tons. We could get a heat sink and maybe some armor for it. I'm going to drop that in there for now. There really isn't anything else here I want. Rocket 10 packs. How much are these? 0.5 tons. Let's drop that in. Um, pirate medium lasers. We've already got... Well, we had one of these. Where the heck did it go? Did it get destroyed? Oh, I might have sold it because I needed sea bills. I can't remember now. Um, we do have a Clint part. Not the same one, but we do have a Clint part. Hmm. Let's just take the Clint part then. I know it's kind of a, well, there's not a lot here. Thunderbolt 10, but this is like, what, 7 tons? 6 tons? 55 damage, though. Indirect fire, but it's easy to shoot down. That's the problem. Okay, we're going to go with this. Oh, we got 3 Thunderbolt parts. Beautiful, large laser, machine guns, pepper box rifle. Another core, beautiful, IC engine, spike fist. I was looking at that. Some rifle ammo. Okay, Thunderbolt ammo, not too bad. Okay, 20 grand. That's relatively not too bad. All right, let's manage the task a little bit here. Trebuchet up to the top. Or sorry, Talos up to the top. So four days, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here. We're continuing with our wanton destruction of the planet of Solaris, turning it into a freaking crater. Uh, tomorrow we're going to turn it, we're going to use the uh, uh, orbital bombardment on this uh, fire for effect here. We're going to try the target acquisition to see how we do, we do here. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be lowering, lowering the Jenner's gen speed <laughs> at this point, but, you know, it is a possibility uh, for the future. But uh, right now I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time. We'll see you later.